Two local surfers traveled a long, long way to combine their love of water with their compassion for mankind. Tonight, our travel guide is News Channel 5 videographer Jim Sitton. He takes us with him and them halfway across the world into some of the most remote villages of Papua New Guinea. This airplane is a pretty airplane to you guys. It looks cool, but what you don't realize is this is an absolute lifeline for 500,000 people. As it is right now, without Samaritan Aviation, it takes people days to get to some health care. And so they just die either trying to get there or they realize they can never make it, so they don't even try. Mark Palm and Gary Buston are on a mission. This will be the only float plane headed to uh, Papua New Guinea. They're both pilots and medical missionaries called to help these villagers. While we were on this island, uh, I had just finished my EMT training and they brought a little boy to me that had been whacked in the leg by a machete. And it wasn't that bad of a cut, but because they didn't understand how to take care of it, and because there was no medical supplies and they were in a really remote island, this little boy's leg started to infect and fester and became a tropical ulcer that spread from his knee all the way down to his ankle. So I had a little medical kit with me and for about $1.75 worth of medical supplies, was able to potentially save his leg. And that spoke to me. Now that was a simple thing, but $1.75 to me, a leg to the kid. That's a big deal. Stories like this propelled Gary and Mark into launching Samaritan Aviation and their adventure of faith. We realized if we have an airplane that can fly from the runway in WeWAC and can land behind an island where the water's calm, or along this huge river where there's 1,500 lakes, it can make a major impact. Some of the outer islands that we service, it takes a long time to get to by boat and currently that's the only way people get to and from those islands and it could be an 8-10 hour boat ride to get to these islands where we can fly to them land on the water right behind the island and we can be there in a half an hour. Besides delivering medicine, meeting basic health care needs and helping with things like childbirth, Gary and Mark will use this plane to fly out the critically ill to faraway clinics and hospitals. As we fly into to these villages, to see the amount of need there just is overwhelming. The excitement that they sensed when, when they saw us coming, it was just so overwhelming to see them crowd around us and, and uh, just they were so thankful that we were there. They're giving, they're so generous and they'll help you with anything and, and they're caring. see their eyes and we see the lack of medical help and we realize that we can make a difference. We can help change that person, those people's lives. This plane is not coming back to the United States. Uh, once we get it down there, we're hoping to have it in service there for 15 to 20 years and uh, we won't be bringing it back. It's such a blessing to, to be able to, to use tools that are so effective for God's kingdom. That was our 12-time Emmy Award-winning videographer Jim Sitton reporting from New Guinea. To find more information on Samaritan Aviation, just go to our web channel, WPTV.com. Compelling and, uh, story, but right. spectacular videography. And he went down there on his own and did yeah, that beautiful, beautiful piece. Beautiful, it is. Head on News Channel 5 at 530 right here, a former NBA star faces charges after he...